Hey guys, um, welcome to another quick review for tonight. A couple of my readers turned me on to a uh, new DNS service and I checked it out and I thought it was really cool. It's actually one of the only ones that I've, to this date, that I've seen that actually does uh, this much to prevent uh, malware. There's, you know, different DNS services such as um, OpenDNS that can protect you from some malicious website, um, adult content, if you have kids, that type of stuff. Um, to go a little bit into DNS uh, and kind of what it is, the most simplest explanation, um, a DNS service is basically a phone book for your internet browser. Um, so if I, you know, if I search something up in the bar here, it kind of looks it up. You know, if I just go Google instead of google.com it uses the DNS service to look it up and it goes okay um, you know the web browser right now is actually coupled to Bing search so it searches like that but it's kinda like a phone book that it looks up addresses the simplest thing I can explain it to you guys um, and there's different ones right now I'm on Comcast DNS servers because that's what I use but you can easily change that. Um, how you can change that first, let me show you, is if you have a Windows computer, you just open up Control Panel. Now this is Windows 7. Um, you go into Network and Internet. Uh, you open up your adapter settings. You right click on whatever adapter you have, be it wireless or this one's wired. You click Properties. Then you go to the TCP IP version 4 and you click properties and then you can go use the following DNS servers and then you can put the numbers in here. Um, to find out the DNS numbers that really depends on what DNS service you want to use. So now um, I'll show you the one um, they told me about. It's called uh, Clear Cloud DNS. Um, this DNS service is run by Sunbelt. Now what's special about this one is that from what I can tell it uses the Sunbelt antivirus signatures which are the same ones that are used in Viper and PC tools um, if I remember man, PC? No, that are used in Viper um, antivirus to uh, run its DNS service. So what's that mean? That means that uh, from what I can tell, now I'm sure there's probably I can find the exception is, but most things that are getting detected by Sunbelt as a virus or anything that's coming from a web address will automatically get blocked by this. Um, and how do you set this up? Well, you click on it, um, and here's your DNS addresses. So you open it up. Let me move this over so we can read it. Pretty simple. You put it in. Eight, two, two, one. Two. And each DNS service has its uh, own separate numbers. Now these they're going to have an application sooner or later where it'll let you uh, easily automatically change it so you don't have to do this but to me this is fairly easy. Uh, one quick note is you can also run a DNS service from your router. You go into your router settings and um, you can change it there and what that does is anybody that's connected to your router, wired, wireless, um, your TV, your PlayStation, your cell phone, whatever is connected to that router is being automatically routed to this DNS service so you get an extra layer of protection. Um, also wanted to add that this doesn't have any it doesn't drag your computer down at all uh, it's already built into Windows and so there's no service running in the background there's nothing it's just there and it works it's all done basically on their servers um, the good thing is if you have an antivirus or whatnot and uh, I mean you know, unless you're like me and you want to test antiviruses and things like that but most people don't this is a great addition because it gets you even a better detection because let's say you have something like Norton or whatnot uh, or McAfee, Kaspersky, Komodo, whoever. Um, it doesn't matter. If you add on this D this DNS service you're also getting the signatures basically from Sunbelt so it's like having two scanning engines at least you know for your online content. Um, 
to help prevent infec infections from happening is that, and as we all know, the more scanning engines you have, the better your detection ratio is and the more protected you are. So let's test this out. Um, I have some links here. I have some that are I know. Uh, it was kind of hard for me to find some that I that I was positive that weren't found by uh, Sunbelt, but I found enough that I know are found by them. So we can test it out here and see how they do. And see, that's basically what it tells you right there. Has determined the site you're trying to visit is malicious. And that's it. It stopped right there. There's only two ways, in my opinion, that you can positively stop um, something from even getting into your computer. You know, people talk about web scanners and all that stuff. There's only two ways, in my opinion, that are I know work good. One is to run a DNS service like this, or another one is to modify the host file. Uh, and what the host file does is anything that you put in there, it basically stops you from being able to connect to that um, website. Basically stops your computer from being able to connect to it at all. Um, but the problem that I've seen is with programs that add to the host file, they have to add a ton of entries. And I've noticed that, that when you have something that adds a lot of entries to the host file, it can slow down your browsing and your computer um, enough that I can I can definitely feel it myself. So I think a DNS uh, server that runs this type of thing is even better. So let's continue. Now, this one is found by the signatures. I know it is, but it's let through. So it means that they haven't yet synchronized everything. Um, I'm not going to run it because I know this is a piece of malware. But this is still in beta, as you saw at the uh, when we went to it. It said beta up here. Okay, and this one is allowed through too. And so is that one. So they still got some work to do on it. I know this one is not found by the signatures. And yep, there you go. And this is a fake scanner page. And I wasn't sure if this one was a fake scanner. Um, I mean, I know it's a fake scanner page, but I wasn't sure if this one is found by Sunbelt or not. And it doesn't look like it because it's allowing it to hook up to my computer. So as you can see, there you go. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find some more links just to kind of show you um, on uh, on how kind of like what it uh, works. So give me one second here, and I'll get some more links. Okay, so I got some more links here. Um, I'm pretty sure that most of these are found uh, by Sunbelt. So we're going to see what they do. I would hope that more and more of their um, signatures get put into the cloud but because it's beta it um, there you go there's one let me uh, let me get the uh, the virus total for that one so you can see it okay so this is that same one that just got blocked right here um, I don't know why it's coming up as that but this is the virus total for it and you can see Bitdefender finds it fsecure gdata which we know is Bitdefender and avast and protect and sunbelt and that's it so it protected against that one, which was a fairly new. Uh, that one's not going to work. These rarely ever do. Yep. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, so that one was also protected, so let me grab the virus total for that one. Okay, here's that one, module setup uh, 7700, and it's only found by 11. Bitdefender. Uh, Dr. Web, F Secure, G Data. Uh, let's see, Microsoft, PC Tools, and there you go, Sunbelt. And let's try that last one. And that one was blocked. Let me get the virus total. And there's the virus total for that one. It's blocked by 15. So still uh, not blocked by a Hun, uh, see who's who's not blocking it. I kind of like to look at that. Avast, uh, AVG, uh, MCSoft, that's A squared. Uh, Kaspersky's not. Microsoft's not. Node32's not. Semantic is not. But you can see that neither is uh, Sunbelt. 
so but, uh, neither is PC Tools. So it, I'm not sure exactly. Right right now, from what I could tell, they were using those signatures, but I I think that they're they're using a modified um, uh, process. I, I don't haven't found out a lot about it. They don't give you exactly all the info on exactly how it works, but this is just kind of me you know thinking out loud on how it works but there you go um, you can see that this is a great little addition uh, if you're concerned with security and this would be something to put on somebody's PC who isn't very experienced with computers they don't have to answer any questions or anything it uh, just works and uh, people who aren't very experienced with computers they like that where it just just something just works and they have um, no problems with it so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this quick little review. Um, talk to everybody later, and uh, take care.